Kaduna is the state's capital of Kaduna State in northwestern Nigeria. It is a trade center and a major transportation hub for the surrounding agricultural areas. Kaduna's name derived from the Aousa word Kada, which means crocodile or alligator. Kaduna being the plural form. Welcome to Kaduna. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. As you guys know that I'm in Kaduna already. So now we are going to National Museum now. That's where we want to be on our way to. So don't go anywhere, just join in with me. Don't forget to like this video, share with friends and family, and also subscribe if you are new. Now let's the journey start. From Kaduna train station to Kaduna National Museum is around 17 minutes to 20 minutes drive without audio. So now we're already on our way to Kaduna National Museum. Kaduna National Museum and Monument is located opposite the Emir of Zazao's Palace along Aliu Akulu Road in Kaduna. The National Museum is one of the many historical monuments in the city and it is inherited for being the capital of the defute Nauta region. It was established in the year 1975. We are now at the National Museum. I'm so happy, even though we don't know where we are going to yet. I hope we we'll get a tour guy that will take us around. Farm, this is an open area. Let me call it a very big courtyard. Yeah, I should call it that way, which they have beautiful sculptures, like different sculptures. They have children play park where if you come with your children, you can just take them to the place. They have children um, equipment and some other good stuff where your children can play. They also have library, e-library, and yeah, they have different art galleries which will be entry one at the end of this video so now we are moving to where the traditional hairdressers are but take a look at all these sculptures what do you think about it they are very neat and they are well maintained yeah i need to say it okay now we are moving to the uh, space for the traditional hairdressers farm we decided not to enter because we were in haste while creating this content but I, I literally asked the woman that if i want to make my hair can i come over to make my hair and she was like you are free don't you see people over there which i was really really glad about is now take a look at this art gallery we decided not to enter because this is not the gallery we had planned to enter and now this is a uh, space for the brows worker yeah you can get your rings earrings and some other beautiful stuff over there and now take a look at these surroundings like just take a look Kaduna National Museum has about 8,000 activists, mostly of the NOC culture. Some of the activists on display at the museum include NOC terracotta, Igbo Uku, classical Ife sculptures, works from the Zaria, Benekot art representing the prehistoric section, and other cultures in Nigeria. Kaduna National Museum is open every day from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And for you to enter, you have to pay 500 naira, 500 naira for adults, but I'm not sure of the prices for the children. I think it's around 200 naira. So this is how the outer looks, looks like. And, you know, we wrote down our name and we sanitized our ends. sculptures represent olden days ways of life like take a look at a mother uh, making a daughter's hair take a look at olden days way of cooking that was when they do use firewood to cook take a look at that grinding stone and yeah take a look at the olden days fridge that is clay pot and yeah they call it fridge as a den dance so from this are 
I'll show okay for different cultures we have the Yoruba the Fulani we have the Igbo we have Aousas and every other tribes in Nigeria just take a look so fam this culture is for grown-up men who are ready to marry a woman and they will just carry this sculpture and dance around the community if the sculpture does not fall it means they are ready to marry but if it falls it means that they have to try again the following year which we were told that is not about cash as at all in this is about how a man can be patient with a woman are you really ready for it and all good stuffs and now take a look at all these uh, sculptures these are the small gods yeah. which are being used at the local cults in nigeria like in the olden days then they have the ayilala they have some gold they have different gods like that like that which the woman was just like oh if you use if you lie and you use ayilala to swear the ayilala will kill the person immediately so there were so many sculptures representing the olden days gods like the small small gods So fam, these are the olden days uh, currency which is called cowries. Yeah, I think re recently I still saw something like that uh, at a place in Ibadan. It is called cowries. It is time for us to snap with the Emir of Kaduna. Now take a look at the Emir, that is the king and also the guard. So now it is time for us to take pictures. Moving on, these are calabash, these are ads that are being used to cover head in the farm because of sun. And take a look at our uh, owls, yeah, they have cutlasses and some other good stuffs. Take a look at this masquerade as well. This museum is not basically about Aousa culture, it represents every culture in Nigeria. Take a look at the calabash and yeah, take a look at every other uh, cultural things. So this section is for Bible and Quran, also aim as well. And this section is for uh, equipment that are being used to fight in the olden days. Honestly speaking, this is a place I would recommend to anyone. If you find yourself in Kaduna, just try and visit the National Museum. There are so many things that I wish I can bring on camera for you guys, but due to rules and regulation, we couldn't but i really had a beautiful time at the museum and i hope you guys enjoyed this little thing we were permitted to show you so guys we are done here we really had a beautiful time and our train is by 2 p.m so we have to leave now and the time right now is 1 30 p.m so now we move to the train station